Teachers of Reddit, when did students send you the wrong file? Serious. When I was in high school, I was working with the art teacher to create a book of art and writing by seniors that would get printed and passed out to the mat graduation. Usually files would get sent to me, and I would decide if they had enough effort to go into the book, and then I'd email the file to the teacher. Our emails were just first Namela's name at school mail, so everyone knew everyone's email. And there was an older student that had been bullying me and being absolutely nasty to me, and that had included emails. When he sent his piece, I didn't pay attention and forwarded the entire chain of emails to the art teacher, including the bullying. He lost his place on the cross country team and instead of a page for him in the art book, there was a page about bullying and how to reach out for help. So, that's what happened when I sent the wrong file. A combination of a student and his mom and they got me twice. I taught history and one of my sophomore kids was essentially useless. His mom did everything for him, including his assignments. I didn't give homework except for papers, and the final project, which was to make a powerpoint about any year of your choosing. This kid chose the year he was born, which is literally the one year I tell them not to do, because being the same age, I didn't want to make the class sit through 15 presentations of the same year. It was obvious his mom had done the powerpoint because he was genuinely surprised when we got to August and it was a close up photo of the mom's vagina giving birth to him. This was partially on me because the students were supposed to email me a copy of the slideshow so I could review it and I didn't. I emailed the mother about it and my email included my cell phone. She called me completely oblivious that showing the literal moment of her son's birth was not appropriate for history class. In 10th grade I named my powerpoint presentation for a class I hated gave LLS HPPT. I opened the presentation from my thumb drive before connecting to the projector so that nobody saw the offensive file name. The presentation went very well and the teacher complimented me in front of the whole class. Then I went to close the file and it popped up on the projector asking if I wanted to save changes to Gabe LLS HPPT. I'm a TA and sometimes accept submissions into my email. Someone emailed me a PDF of their homework, but instead of their homework it was a fanfic about the class professor being a snail. I memorialized their fanfic by later drawing the professor as a snail and putting it on the school reddit, putting it on his door, putting it on my Instagram, putting it on the board in our major lounge. I like that student. It was a good fanfic that included a section about him walking on salt. That is the strangest thing I have read all day. I had given students the simple come up with a commercial project. Students had the option of performing in class or recording a short video. One student brings in a random flash drive with her project. I plug it into my laptop so we can watch as a class and the thing was full of named porn files. She was in 7th grade and it was all uncomfortable. She told me to just click on the folder with her name and we all pretended like we didn't see anything else. I worked in the ear department of a college so I had the pleasure of disabling the student's account so we could have a little chat later that day after they sent an email to a friend. Turns out that the friend had a name very very similar to a teacher. Lick my ball bag you vegan f was the subject and a picture of a lady licking a ball bag was the only thing in the body of the email. That was an interesting conversation. Not exactly what you asked. But my little cousin was in class when a substitute teacher accidentally pulled up gay porn he was watching on the smart board for the entire class to see. I live in a small town so that was the talk for a pretty long time. He got charged and his mugshot was a meme that we all sent each other. He was always a really nice guy too. Had been working for the school for 20 plus years as a sub. Still can't believe it really happened sometimes. Not super exciting but I'm an English teacher and I use turnitin.com. A student asked to see another student's essay so he could understand what he needed to do to finish the work cited page. Since both of them hadn't named their essays the student turned in his friends by accident. Name and all. It was worth a laugh because the similarity report came back 100% and since it was during class and he could immediately produce his own essay, I knew it was an honest mistake. I have a relatively harmless but funny reverse example. When I was in high school sometimes I would randomly type up my thoughts about various TV shows while I was watching them. I have absolutely no idea why I did that I would just type up my stream of consciousness thoughts in the bottom of some document. Apparently one time I did this on the bottom of a draft article for my 9th grade journalism elective. 
which the teacher projected onto the whiteboard and read aloud to the entire class. I have no idea how I accidentally left it at the bottom of the draft, but it was very awkward. I'm pretty sure I'd written comments about an episode of America's Next Top Model in a random paragraph at the end of my draft. Luckily the submissions themselves were anonymous so no one knew it was mine, but it was awkward. The teacher was like HMM. I guess someone's document got mixed up I don't think that's part of the article so doc comments. She then left it up for like 10 minutes. I wanted to die. I went from a solid A to a solid B in biology my freshman year of college when I swapped papers between classes. On prof was cool and let me resend it later that day. The other was not and knocked 10% off my grade. Not funny. Not inappropriate. Just 6 pages on blue herons overeating. My friend in college submitted an MT zip file for a final project that was worth some obscene portion of our final grade. They were able to provide the correct file the same day enough work there's no way they could have done it all in that time. And so it was pretty clear the whole thing was an honest mistake. Professor refused to take it, failed them on the assignment, which led to them failing or only offered full semester of senior year class and preventing them from graduating. Dean had to get involved. Sent an email along the lines of our job is to teach, not be Machiavellian. Had a student complain that their assignment wouldn't upload to Google Classroom. Turned out that he was trying to turn in work that someone else had done and had just shared with him. He couldn't because he didn't own the document. What happened was that I don't normally use the family computer so this one time I wrote my essay like normal didn't look at the file it was being saved to and while I was looking for the files, I accidentally stumbled upon my dad's sex tapes. I almost submitted one of them trying to click off as fast as possible. Not sure if this counts. A student sent me a word doc for an assignment. When I opened it, annotations were turned on. I was able to see notes she and another student discussing the assignment, edits, etc. A few days later, their friend sent me a surprisingly identical paper. I wrote and told them it was okay to collaborate, but they had to resubmit different papers. This was actually an essay my one friend, let's call Bob Smith, submitted to his class where the teacher would then present their findings aloud. My buddy asks for help on it to proofread and make changes, which I am happy to do but I always believed that whoever it was should read the changes I made to validate, disagree etc. So I made the choice to change his name on the front page, upper left hand corner thinking if he read it over he could immediately identify and switch it back. So his teacher began with the name before starting a roke who's next Bob the Penis Smith. Needless to say it got quite the reaction from the teacher in class. The remainder of the year he was referred to as BTP. When I was in high school, my English teacher was also kind of my mentor. She was the best teacher I've ever had, hands down. I am a forgetful person, and she was the first teacher who ever tried to help me with it. She noticed I didn't lie about it, that I didn't forget my homework at home. I was actually forgetting things, even trivial things I once forgot all of my textbooks on my desk and left school. She came in, saw them, called me immediately and told me she put them in her cabinet and will give them to me tomorrow. So we had an agreement I could use my laptop during classes, she would send me the worksheets, I would download the reading materials, and this way I wouldn't forget anything. I carry my laptop almost everywhere, the agreement had a condition. I had to send her, once a week, a report of what I accomplished at class. It went great aside for two times, once. I forwarded her an email from my chemistry teacher about how I was failing class. I forgot I was still reviewing the email, and knew I had to send her the report. And it just happened. She excused me from classes so I could study for chem. And my grades did see a drastic change. Because if I failed it meant that I also failed her, and that wasn't an option. Another time I sent her a part of a novel I am writing. It was an early draft, and I hadn't realized what I sent until the next morning. She told me that even though I sent her the wrong file, she will give an extension and gave me a printed copy of the chapters I sent her, with handwritten comments. She fixed my grammar, suggested different words, and wrote a full essay about which characters she liked, how the plot was up to the point, and that she had no idea I had such a gift. Next class she asked me if I wanted her to be a beta reader, and I agreed, thanks to two mistakes and one godsend. I have finished Chem with an A and almost finished my novel. 
When I was in high school I had to do a present a slideshow with a group for my class. We had named it Boring Science Presentation as a joke while we worked on it. Turns out we forgot to rename it and the teacher saw the name as we were opening up the presentation. He was not very happy at all. Can I add in the time where I had two copies of a document one to submit and one to print for my presentation that was set to help with my dyslexia. The former was 12 point times New Roman. The latter was 18 point comic song. So which one did I submit to my lecturer? Thankfully, my lecturer knew that I have dyslexia and understood why I had a copy in Comic Song. Allowed me to resubmit. I also now use a different font that is easier to read than Comic Song and was allowed to submit my dissertation in a dyslexic friendly font. 